I'm back on my bicycle, but unfortunately today I'm a bit sick, so I don't know how much riding I'm going to get done. I thought I'd just entertain you guys with a bit of a bike check. Starting off from the back to the front, I've got a Revenge Industries back wheel complete. I have a United Swerve tyre right here at the back. I have a Primo TC V2 uh, plastic peg. I have a random hub guard, which I'm going to assume is a Revenge Industries hub guard. Uh, on my bicycle the last time, what broke was the chain, so I thought I'd go big or go home. So I went for the best of the best, um, the Shadow Conspiracy V2 interlock chain. This is pretty much the strongest chain you can get for your bicycle right now pretty awesome. Uh, coupled with that I have the, some of the strongest uh, cranks you can get which are the fit indent cranks. Uh, absolute beasts. They cost me an arm and leg but it was worth it. I have some really shitty pedals. Like when I say bad I mean these things are really bad but um, they get the job done for me and I haven't seen the need to change them. I have an exposure uh, 25 tooth Rocket chip. It's okay, I mean, it gets the job done. I don't see the difference. Um, on the other side here, we have a Primo bottom bracket, which is very good. Uh, it gets the job done. As long as the cranks are spinning, I don't care. Uh, coupled with that, we have a Fit Slim Seat. I don't know what they're calling this thing these days. Um, this thing's held up pretty well. I've had it for far hard years. That's pretty fantastic. Moving along, um, the entire frame is a We The People Scorpio frame. Uh, 21 inch at the top. Absolutely amazing. I love it to death. Right here at the top, we have a fit uh, something stem. I think it's a Justin Inman stem. But all I know is that it has these sick patterns. Uh, people have tried to steal this off of me a couple of times. Over here, I have a Salt, salt Plus uh, headset. I have United Beacon Bars, which are big. I can't tell you any geometry on that, but they're bigger than my old bars. And as far as I can tell, it's pretty helpful. Uh, over here on the bars, I have my favorite grips, which are the Nathan Williams grips. They're absolutely amazing, soft, they last long, they're perfect for me. I have Mongoose Thrive Forks, which are heavy as hull, but built like tanks. <coughs> Sorry about that. In the front here, we have a Primo Balance Wheel complete wheel. Um, it was, it's absolutely amazing. I had a few issues with both of my wheels recently, which is another reason why I've been off. So I sent those in to be fixed and they seem to be holding up pretty well. In the front I have another Primo Plastic V2 peg. Uh, I haven't ground, I haven't been grinding anything. I've only been back on my bike for three odd days now, so not that much to speak of. And then in the front I have another United Swerve tire which is due to be changed but um, money's a real thing so I'm not going to do that anytime soon. And then over here we have my pride and joy is really, um, I think these are going to be the only things I never change which are my dice which I made myself. So these hubcap dice which I made myself. Those will never change. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, that's my number one passion. 
It may not be the best, but you know, it's something I love, so it's something I do almost every day, regardless of if I'm sick or not, obviously. Uh, for the rest of the day, I think I'm just going to tap out for the day. Um, I understand if some of you uh, didn't really care that much about this video, it's just one that I had to do. Because it's about something that I love, and this channel is all about sharing my passions with you guys. So make sure you subscribe. You guys have been smashing that like button. Like, I don't know, like in the past two weeks, you guys have destroyed it. So thank you so much for that. It really does mean a lot. Until next time, remember to party hard, work smart. We love you.